This video is part of Free React course on custom hooks. In this course we learn how to create, test and publish your custom React hooks. In this particular video we will learn how to create subscription hook. The hook that will subscribe to some event and then will have to unsubscribe when we will unmount it. We'll create a hook that will subscribe to mouse move event and will update every time X or Y position changes. I'm starting with a simple React application generated with create React app. Here I have app.js where I'm going to be using my hook. It's not created yet, so it won't work right now. We'll need to create this use mouse position hook. It will return an object that will have X and Y properties and we will just output them in our layout. Let's begin by creating use mouse position hook file. Inside of SRC folder, create new file called use mouse position.js. We'll need React use effect and use state hooks, so import them. Import use effect use state from React. Now export new function. Export const use mouse position. That will be our hook. And inside of it begin by creating new constant that will contain position variable and setter for it, set position. We will get it using use state with initial position of x0, zero, y0. Zero. At this point we can return position. Now we need to subscribe to window events. Let's use use effect. Call use effect hook and pass a callback there. Inside of this callback, create new constant called handle mouse move. It will be a function that will handle event, it will get event reference, and will call set position with x from event client x and y event client y. Now add event listener to window, add event listener. We're going to listen to mouse move and we'll pass our handle mouse move as a callback. Now here is the key part about creating subscription hooks. You need to remove the subscriptions when your hook is unmounted. How to do this? This is being done by returning a function from your hook. It will be called when your hook will be unmounted. Inside of this function we can call window remove event listener mouse move and handle mouse move. This way we can clean up after our hook will be removed so we don't cause any memory leaks. One last thing we need to pass empty array so our use effect hook that assigns a new event listener to our window is called only on mount. Let's format the document and we are done. Make sure to see other videos from this course in the attached playlist. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel.